Hi everyone. Talk to Victoria Scrubbo again. Hey, um, it's Sunday and I, I'm having a relaxing morning, so I decided to do a couple more readings before my day gets crazy and everybody sort of gets up and and um, things start to get noisy here. So um, I've been thinking, oh, probably dangerous, but. Um, about the Mueller investigation, a lot of people talk about it coming out, other people talk about it not coming out. I kind of want to know what the issue is with the, with the Mueller investigation. Um, just generally, that's the question I'm going to ask. I'm not going to put any other question in the list. We'll, we'll go through uh, with the cards and see. Um, yeah. What's up with the with the Mueller investigation? Okay. I'm almost done shuffling. I'm also gonna again pick one of the uh, soul cards by Deborah Koff Chapin. Let's do that first. Okay. I'm just gonna pull somewhere out of the deck. I think I'm gonna leave it aside. Sorry, I'm not even looking at it, so don't feel bad. I don't want to influence myself. Okay, now I'm cutting the cards. Okay, this is the Mueller investigation. Today is the uh, 3rd of March, 2019. So what are the issues at hand? Justice. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good. Balance, fair, justice. So what that says to me is that they want to be as balanced and fair as they can be in this situation. Plus, they want to have the information in such a way that it can't be necessarily um, fought again because fought against because they've done their due diligence, which very much sounds like the Mueller investigation anyway. Let's see what's crossing that. The Nine of Wands. Um, this is... There is, this is the first thought that came to, to mind, a race to the top, a race to the top of the pyramid. I feel like this is, um, on a certain level, Donald Trump putting, he wants to be on the tippy tippy top. He wants to have total and utter control. And, uh, that's, that's a challenge. What's interesting, as I look at these two cards, um, the path that I see this as Donald Trump is running up. It is a pyramid, but the, the, the path of justice is much steeper. A lot harder to climb, a lot harder to be able to reach. So... As, as a thought, you know, he can climb up the pyramid, but I think justice will be served one way or the other. Okay. Okay, so at the, at the root of this is the Six of Wands. And this is one of the most unique Six of Wands cards that um, I've seen in many of the decks. We have somebody here with wands. He's laying on what looks like an altar. There is a sacrificial energy to this card. And um, in the other decks, it's the man on the horse, and he's and there's been victory. But of course, victory always comes at a cost. And uh, I think there is a evaluation of the cost of this uh, investigation. And there is a sense of sacrifice here. Um, what are they willing to sacrifice to put this forth? Okay, let's continue. Let's see what's in the past. Um, no, their silence, okay? Very, very quiet about everything. No leaks. Everything very close to the vest. They have a very high... Uh, mountain to climb. Justice itself has a higher mountain to climb than 
Trump because justice has to be able to back up what they say with facts and precedence and, and, and fairness, whereas Trump can pretty much do what the hell he wants and say what the hell he wants, and he's still going to get at the top of the heap because he is working on a more emotional and, uh, in a way, inspirational level, what inspires him. How, how He's gotten... You know, if you look at his, his his history, Trump, you wonder how he could possibly have gotten this far without either getting caught or being held accountable. This guy's a slippery fellow. He can get out of a lot of things. Um, and so I think that they know that, and they're being extra, extra cautious. Now, I know you're like, I've heard this. This is what I went into coming out. I understand. Believe me. I understand. What's in the sky? So we have the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of anxiety, and I believe this is anxiety on both sides. I don't think that uh, means that Trump has the um, the corner on anxiety. I think to a certain extent, this is a very untried, untried situation, and so there's really no telling. Even if they have all their there's there's T's crossed and I's dotted. There's still that wild card energy. And of course, we know that Trump is nothing. He's a wild card. And then there's also, you know, the anxiety that, you know, there could be some sort of up, upheaval, revolution. You know, a lot of these Trump people are kind of crazy and, and, you know, are willing to take up arms for this guy. It's scary stuff. Okay, let's see what's in the future. There's six weeks out. We have the Knight of Wands, and so this is this is a this is a, a person on a quest. This is an action card, so there is going to be action within the next six weeks. It's going to be inspired. Yeah, there's action definitely. So we're going to hear something in six weeks. And I know everybody's like, oh, six weeks. It could be tomorrow, right? Tomorrow is six weeks from now. <laughs> How it seen from the outside. Hmm. A labyrinth. <laughs> it's seen as a labyrinth. That's kind of what this woman is standing in. Kind of a labyrinth here. But um, layers upon layers upon layers upon layers. That's how it's seen from the outside, which is very true. Even though they're just looking for uh, the foreign power thing, uh, it has un sort of raveled many, many layers. And if Trump is, in fact, the energy that's going to sort of drain the swamp, not in the way that he thinks, but um, exposing things. Um, we need somebody who's as um, slippery, perhaps, as Trump, so that even when he's gone, there's going to be layers and layers of things that are uncovered about how things work, about money and politics, about, um, you know, just uh, uh, organized crime, um, interference, um, between nations, um, manipulation, all the things that, you know, all the things, all the tricks of the patriarchy, really, the patriarchal power over paradigm, um, the rot, all of it. Pluto is in Capricorn. That's going to continue on until 2024 at least. And then it doesn't end. It just, you know, it changes something else, you know, shifts and changes. But we certainly learn a lot from that. From that experience so let's see the um, domestic situation so you have the nine of cups I think there's satisfaction I think we get our wishes our wish comes true you know what they say about wishes be careful what you wish for so I think on some level um, perhaps everybody gets their wishes including Trump who knows um, You know, sometimes when people are attached to a person and the 
and um, they, you know they back them up, and then they find out that the person is lying to them, or 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 you know it's like a uh, or they're they're caught. Like say you're in a relationship, an abusive relationship, and finally somebody sees the bruises on your back. Uh, sometimes the victim stays connected to the to the abuser. You know, there's the Stockholm syndrome, and this could be you know part of his base. You know, things get obvious, and then they get even they get st more strongly attached to him. So there's that. So what I mean by, you know, maybe Trump gets what he wants to, even more uh, uh, loyalty, even if it's from less people. Um, he needs he needs a, a fan base, right? Let's see the uh, hopes and fears. Okay, the hopes and fears. This is about, um, this is about a spy. Is this Russia? Is this Trump? Is this somebody in his administration? I think that we're hoping to find that there is a connection. We're hoping to find that there is a connection. And then, of course, there are those that are not. So hopes and fears go both ways, right? Outcome? Ten of Swords. Okay. Ten of Swords is the ending of something. And so the Mueller investigation is definitely going to end something. Let's see if we can pull a major arcana. The hermit. Now the hermit generally is, you know, going, um, going into seclusion voluntarily, but this could be involuntary seclusion, or it could be hiding out somewhere. We have the Eight of Cups. This is abandonment. This is walking away. <clears throat> so I think that... Um, I think that this is going to be the end of Trump, quite honestly. According to these cards, they're going to find collusion, or whatever it is they're looking for. And it is going to be the begin. you know, the end. It's going to be the end. So let's see what this says. Let's look at this card for a minute. Can you see it? I know the, the sun is sort of like, how about that? That might be better. I'm not sure that's better at all. There we go. So if you can see this, but there's uh, a little face here. And uh, it's like a baby, <laughs> a little red baby, a little orange baby. I almost feel like this is this is Trump going back to and I'm going to see this as his mother because I feel like there's a serenity here um, the sense of this this person being or this figure being half manifested and half not manifested um, I feel like um, yeah, and, and this is, he's very small here. Um, remember when I asked about Weisselberg, I wish I could find the, the card now. Um, he was big, he was in the sky, he was screaming. Let's see if I can find it. And now we have this little, like, little baby here. I'm looking for the Weisselberg card. I don't know if I'll be able to. Oh no, I don't know if I'll be able to find it. But it's quite a uh, quite a change in the energy. Yeah. So um, I, you know, on a certain level, and I know I'm sort of rambling a little bit here, but on a certain level, I almost feel like Trump is a big. Uh, id, right? A big baby. And, uh, you know, I want, I want, I want, I want. And uh, it's a powerful force. It's a, it's definitely a powerful, willful force. His soul vibration is in the solar plexus. Um, so, um, 
I think it's the time of the baby is over. I think the mother will will take the baby in her arms and and soothe it in whichever way um, that is. Now I'm not saying that he's going to die and go to his mother because his mother is in spirit. Um, but I feel as though we're not going to have to listen to that cry anymore. And I don't exactly know what that means. But So, the mule, they're just being very careful. The question was about the Mueller investigation. They're being very careful, but I think ultimately they're going to be successful. I do think they're going to find that there was connection. Um, will Trump be in jail? He's either going to be in jail, which I don't, I don't know if I've ever felt like he's going to go to jail, but he is going to disappear from, uh, from you. And, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. So, all right, like, and subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Bye.